In this video we're going to learn how to multiply decimals together. The first thing we do is we do the calculation without the decimal points being there. We just totally ignore them. So we do it in the same way that we learnt how to do multiplication in one of the earlier videos. Then we count the number of digits that come after a decimal point in the question. So you might look at the first number, there might be two digits after the decimal point. In the second number there might be three and that would be a total of five. Then we, with our answer that we got from this stage here, we place the decimal point in the answer so that we have the same number of digits coming after the decimal point as we counted in part two. Here's another method you can do. You could do a very rough approximation just to find out roughly where it is and then you can put the decimal point in the right place. Providing you're not out by more than 10 times, um, then you're gonna be perfectly okay. Okay, so let's look at a couple of examples. So on this one here, we've got 2.36 multiplied by 0 0.21. So we're going to ignore the decimals altogether and look at 236 multiplied by 21. So there's our answer. I'm not going to show you how to get that. We've got an earlier video on multiplication of integers, and that's exactly what we've done here. And I introduced the lattice method to you there. So now we count the number of digits after the decimal point in the question. Well, there are two here and there are two there. So that means we need four dec um, digits after the decimal point in our answer. Well, if we put the decimal point there, we've got one. There we've got two. There we've got three. So the decimal clearly has to go here and we get the answer 0 0.4956. Let's look at one more example. And this is, I'm doing this one for a particular reason. I'll explain why at the end. So we're going to do 436 multiplied by 35 and we get our answer here. This time though, we've got three digits after the decimal point. And I only did that just for difference. Um, it wouldn't have made any difference if it was four. So we've got one digit. If we put it there, we've got one digit. There we've got two. And there we've got three. So the answer is 15.260. Now some people, when they put that digit in, they make the mistake thinking, well, the zero doesn't need to be there. And they end up putting 1.526. So I'm stressing that we do this question as normal. And we put the decimal point such that this number here has three digits after the decimal point. Let's see how we could have approximated this though. That's about a third and a third of um, 45, for instance, would be 15. And you can see from there would be one point something, 10 times less. There would be 152, 10 times more. This one, 0 0.2 is about a fifth. Well, a fifth of two is about um, 0 0.4. So there we can see, if we put it here, it would have been 0 0.04, far too small. Put it here, it would actually have been bigger than the number we had before. So approximations works perfectly well as well. I hope you found the video helpful. The video goes with a book that I'm writing for Year 9 Mathematics in New Zealand. And you can find a link to a copy of the book um, below. And that book is free for you to use and give to others. In the book you can find questions that go with this video and in the link below this video you'll be able to find answers to those questions. Stay in Infield with Winfield.